Keep on going. Keep on going. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Hey, relax. Who are you? Slow the f down, bro. Shit. Slow down. No, you shut up. You lost this boy. You lost it. Listen, man, this, as you guys know, we're headed to go repossess a very, very nice classic car, man. This is a 1958 Ford Fairlane, all right, with a 332, 265 horsepower engine. It's a classic. Man, do I love old cars? I really do, man. I'm a classic car kind of guy. So I'm going to call up Mondo, okay? If the car's there, we're going to wait. We've got to call up Mondo because we cannot tow it. And I guarantee you, Freud, they gotta have some kind of kill switch on it. So I, I think that, you know, as far as that's concerned, Freud knows what he needs to do. But what they needed to know is that this is a piece of art. Let's just say that even Ford I think, 500. even though I think the, the Ford Fairlane was pretty sleek and big, man, the Studebaker was huge. <laughs> Looked like a boat What'd you with metal. do in that car? I was sitting in it. How do you know it's so huge? Because my grandpa had one. Yeah, okay. And that wasn't with me because I was a born yet. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's right. For what year were you born? 77. Damn. What year were you born? 63. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right, so this is the, the address. Um, I don't know. What's the, what's the paperwork? Well, I don't need to look at the address, bro. You just went by the address and the car, Opa. and it's outside in the driveway. Ooh. Wow. It's a sweet car, and he's got it clean. Look at those white walls. Huh? That's the car right there. You're kidding me. It's open. Oh Sweet. All right, you know what? Do we have a play or anything? Rock and roll 58. Rock and roll, me, uh, rock and roll 58. Mine. We're not going to try to hotwire this car. We're not going to try to toy it with a sling truck or even with the wheel lift. You do not do that. That's being disrespectful to that car. Okay, that's why I had a flatbed standing by for this car. And we went up there all quiet, me, Froy, and my brother. And Trying to waltz in on the action. We're going there. We're, okay, this is our car. Because it's the only Ford Fairlane. There's not like everybody in the whole neighborhood is going to have one parked in front, yellow and white, with white walls. It's on the left. It's on the left top. Like the Porsches. And I'm the guy that picks the cars. I had no idea what the ignition was, but it was like, oh, it's on the left side, just like the Porsche. Ask me a Porsche, I know exactly everything about the Porsche. Ask me any car you want and I'll be able to tell you, but don't ask me about old classic cars. I have no idea. I don't know nothing about them. Man, this backseat is huge. It doesn't start? Okay. Get, you know what? Get out. Sonia, get in it. We're going to push her. Sonia, you're going to back it up and you're going to push it to, to Mano's truck. Hurry up. Push her? Yeah, we're going to push it backwards. Oh, right. Does this go back? Does this go back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. Hold on. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Come on, Freud, push it. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got it, I got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let it go, Sonia. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Shit. Hurry up. Okay, go forward. Go forward. Go for Hey, relax. Who are you? Who are you? Go forward. This is my car. Go for Hey, dude, we're with the finance company, man. What finance company? Listen. Huh? The one you financed the car with. Sorry, dude. What? what? You didn't make the payments, no, man. What? Relax. I'll I'll never be you didn't make the. Hey, that's not. Take that. Dude, we not. already got. Listen, no. get your hands off me. We already yeah, got to repossess. Go for it. Go, go. Listen. Wait. We'll show you when we have it on the flatbed. Wait. Wait. Dude, Wait. get out of my face. I get out of my face. Stop this. This is. You're gonna get hurt, man. No. And no sooner I got in it. And we started pushing, ooh, here comes the owner. I read as hell, he looked like a bat out of hell. What are you guys doing, my car? And man, he tried to get in, and, and you know, my brother's pushing them away, and they're frightened, and they're pushing me. Dude, get out of my face. No, no, what you mean? Don't touch me. You stop that, okay. you can't take the car. Stop right there, okay, all right. And then of course, Freudlin with his off, you know, you know, remarks telling me that, oh, he can't push it because I'm too heavy, and the car's heavy, and, and damn it, maybe if he stopped eating, maybe he'd be able to have a little bit more strength instead of complaining about how much weight I got behind me in the car. 
She's listen. Step over here. She's gonna. She's gonna explain you what's going on. Can't just come tow away. What? Listen. Relax, dude. Talk to him, Sonia. Talk to him. Molly, you wanted a neutral? How is he gonna stop a two-ton car going down the hill with Sonia in it, especially with Sonia in it? and Lou behind it and me on the side of it. There's no way he's gonna be able to do anything about it. I just wanted to get it as fast as I could to the, the flatbed so Mondo can hook it up and just take it and don't have to deal with the person. This is my baby! You can't watch fine! I'm not touching you while you have to do that. This is my... I cannot do this! Yes, we can. We have Call him! Call him right now! You call him, not me! You cannot do this! You cannot do this! Don't tell him what we can do! This is my baby! You cannot do this! Sir, listen, you need to calm down. I'm an, I'm, okay, stop for one second and I'll tell you. It's not our job to notify you. It's the finance company's job. How come they have uh, Let me finish. I just okay. asked you to let me finish. Okay. We come over here on behalf of the finance company and repossess the car. We can't get involved in any kind of situation or uh, negotiations with you and the finance company, okay? Right. We did our job. We even got a flatbed. You should be grateful that we're not driving it or towing it in a regular tow truck. We know what kind of car it is. We know what it is. We know the value. But obviously, Bumanda was doing good. and. Obviously, they're trying to calm this guy because, man, he was like freaking crazy. This is not good luck. You know that. You listen, know that. listen, I'm going to take care of that car. None's going to happen to it. I promise you that. But that's all that I can do. Okay? That's all that I can do. He didn't get out of line too much, and I understand what he was feeling. And I felt bad, man. I still feel bad about that, you know? It's ready? Where did he go with the car? Just go straight. Go straight. All right. He's already heading back to the yard. Car is heavy. We got it, yeah. <laughs> but I broke a mean sweat. And Sonia in there doesn't help. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to give the car back. That guy would be my best friend. I'd be cruising that car with him on the weekends. Slow the oh, down, bro. Shit. Slow down. Don't you shut up, lost this boy, we lost it. You know, it was a regular day, it started just like any other day, but I should have known better. I should have known better from the beginning. Cobalt, you can make the left. Cobalt left? Yeah, we're looking for a 97 BMW. Ooh, 3 fudge. Series. What? <laughs> Is it that bad? Oof. Are you prairie dogging it? <laughs> Damn. Dude, I'll never eat those red chili peppers again, dude. Oh, okay. That's not funny. I'm Mexican, I don't need those it's things. Not funny. Well, you know, I, I was pretty upset, <laughs> mad, first of all, because he picked me up and I needed to get some food. He had already eaten. And uh, we, went go, we went to go do our first repo. The address is going to be on your left. A weird looking dog. Cha cha. Cha cha. Wait, 15, 1, 20 right here. There's a beamer there. And they took off the plate. Let me check the VIN on that. I like the other car. Was that Challenger? Yeah. Don't ask me what year. Hey, just take it easy, okay? Take it easy. You guys give him plenty of room. Just stay right there. We get to the house and our car's just sitting out there and I had to get out of the truck to go vent it to make sure it's our car. It is our car. You know, it's a BMW, so we have to grab it from the back because it's rear-wheel drive. So Matt backs up into it. He, you know, starts hooking up his side. I hook up my side. Told you. There it is. There it is. As soon as I open it, because I have to lock the steering wheel, the alarm went off. God damn. Okay. You can lock it in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. For anybody who comes out. And I was surprised you know, when he came out. I wanted to move fast still, because you, know, you never know who's going to come out, but it was pretty decent. It was pretty normal. I think everybody must be asleep. Nobody's coming out. Pull up. Pull up as you're pulling out. Pull up. Hey. Ooh, man. What the hell are you doing? Get out, dude. You need to get out. Get out. Get out. I don't understand why. One of our camera guys 
try to jump in the front seat. We're ready to roll out. And I look back and the guy's in the front seat. And I'm thinking, why would you get in the front seat? What's he doing? He's in the truck. Come on, let's go. Come on, boy. I can't, I'm not dead. And he's still standing there. He's coming out, he's standing, he's coming out. The Matt yells out, he's like, leave him there, leave him there, let's go. Pull it down, pull it down. Down, 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 down. There you go, you got it. Pull it up. There you go. Ooh, is the camera? Yeah, he stole the f car. What a f idiot. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, nobody came out. Good. <sighs> well, that was boring. <sighs> and now the, the boring ones. <sighs> you need to slow down a little bit. Dude, huh? I gotta take a shit bad. Okay. Yeah, but you're towing and there's a guy in the Dude, freaking back I, of the car. I gotta go shit bad. Okay, that's his problem. You tell him to get out? Oh. I told him to get out. Bro, you need to slow down, bro. Dude, quit arguing with me, dude. I just gotta go to the bathroom. I know for myself that every time you're towing a car, you don't want to drive too fast, especially a BMW. BMWs are very low cars, you know, they're low from the front, and if you lift them up on the back, they're gonna be very close to the ground. And I was trying to explain to him, slow down. Oh. Dude, you slow down, bro. Dude, stop it. I know, but you need to slow down. Go. Stop it. You need to freaking slow down. Oh, Dickhead, it's a shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, you oh, just run a stop. Okay, okay, quit the the down. down. He was driving a little bit too fast up to the point that he takes a stop sign. There was a vehicle that a woman was driving that got this close to hitting us and the car were towing. Oh, Why the fuck are you driving so fast, bro? I got to hit the head, bro. Okay, but you're towing a fucking car. Okay, okay, don't worry you're about it. You're forgetting that. I got it under control. I and, got it under and you control. got a fucking guy sitting in the damn car. Under control. Slow the f oh, down, bro. Shit. Slow down. No, you can't have lost this point without this! God, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! No, dude! Stop! Stop! Oh, oh damn! Dude, the camera! God damn it! Oh, who's gonna shit? Are you okay? Hey! Hey! hey. You hey. okay? You alright? Oh, shit! My first, my first sign was that Matt was driving. You know, that's my first sign. Freud, take care of the situation. You know, take advantage. Make sure you you do this the right thing. I didn't. <laughs> you know, we get out of there. Matt takes the stop the stop sign. That's the second sign. Freud, take control of the situation. Again, I didn't. And the only thing you can think about when you're seeing the car flip is, is he dead? What? Is he dead because I let him stay in the car? Or is he dead because of his own stupidity? Don't move, don't move, don't move. Are you okay? Hey, this door doesn't open. All right, have it. Dude, have your camera. Have your camera. Is that open? I got it. I got it. I got it. Are you all right? Stop. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Anything hurt? Anything hurt? No, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Grab the camera. Okay. All right, easy. Come easy. on, dude. I got, I got it. Okay. Oh, Louis. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Easy. Easy. All right. Oh, it's hurt. Man. You sure look broke? Louis gonna all right, come on out. All right, easy, easy. Easy. Watch your head, watch your head. Okay, come on. Okay, stop, stop. Can you, all right. You all right? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Nothing's broke? No. Try to stand up. Try bro. to stand up. Okay, why don't you go lean over by the fence? Come on. Why don't you sit down at the curb? Where's your dad? Woo! Sit down, bro. Hey, uh, Oh, Lou is gonna f we got an accident. Matt flipped. Oh, the, uh, he's the, got uh, a. Do my first. Let me let me talk to you, Dad, please. I'm thinking, you know, Matt's gonna get fired. I might get fired. This is gonna go on me. I've never done anything like this. I've been working for 10 years. I've never, ever done anything like this, especially not working for Lou. Matt, dude, he is gonna. No. Hey, we we picked up that freaking BMW on Cobalt. Oh. And we're coming around the corner, and Matt was driving and Oh, he's over. got a f Freud. The BMW flipped, flipped over. It, it, Matt was towing it, and the f the camera guy was inside the car, and he flipped over. Oh my God! So I was relaxing. You know, I was on the pinball machine, uh, playing pinball, and then I get my daughter screaming, "Dad!" Freud's on the phone. They got into an accident. I'm thinking. So I went from calm to stressed real fast. Sit down, don't Matt. sit down, just sit down. He's f***ing pissed. Yeah, I bet he is, boy. 
Oh, I, I told you to slow down. All right, it happened, Troy, okay? It happened, man. I don't need this right now, okay? You okay, bro? Yeah, I'm good, okay. Oh, thank God for that. If you would have listened to me, though, when I told you, that's what had happened. Hey, it's, I, it's no time for that, man. No time for that. It's like any accident. The first thing you ask people what happened, they tell you it happened so fast. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. The first thing that I thought was the camera guy's dead, and his life was taken because of me. That's it. I'm done, man. He's gonna. That's it. I'm fired. That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done, Luke. Boy, I'm done. I don't, I don't even know what to tell you, bro. I mean, yeah. Ah, you're fired, man. Yeah, you don't think I know it? Everybody knows Matt's mad, and he does whatever he wants, and nobody tells him different, except for Lou sometimes. But it was my responsibility to make sure that the camera guy was not inside the vehicle. Get that camera out of my face, boy. Get him out of here. Hey, leave him alone, bro, please. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, please. Just leave him alone. You know what's best for you, just leave him alone. What, do, what do I do? Take it out of this? Just unhook it somehow. I'm gonna drag it up and down on the Get it out of quick. Yes, the car was completely total. Uh, but think about it. It could have gone <laughs> so much worse. Someone could have lost their life. Fortunately, that didn't happen. That's just this. I don't. I, I'm not even gonna say bro. Uh, this is. Watch yourself, bro. Oh, calm down. How the f did this happen? You know what Lou's gonna do, right? You blame him? No, I don't actually. Not at all. Just like any other man, he has a sensitive side. I don't know if you noticed, he was crying a bit. They got blue. Look, man. I pull up to the scene, okay, hauling butt, man. I get there as quickly as I could. Locked up the brakes, slammed the truck in gear, and I hopped out while the truck was still moving. There comes Louis. Anybody get hurt? Just the, the camera guy was inside. What happened? Where's the camera guy at? Inside, inside the truck. He's over here. He's in the back. Watch yourself. Well, how'd you get hurt? Why was he in the back of the car? I told, I told him to get out. I told him like three times, get out of the he wants to stay in the car. You kidding me, dude? You're done. This is like the third or fourth time you're done. I see Matt. Matt looks all right. I tell the camera guy, says, "What possessed you to get in the car? Who told you to get in the car? You, you know, you're a camera guy. You're not a freaking stunt guy. You're not a repo guy." He really pissed me off. I was done, man. And you know what, dude? He's out. I told him, you know what, man? You're fired. What happened, dude? Sorry, dude, I had to go to the bathroom. I was coming around the corner too quick. The car flipped, dude. Sorry. Are you hurt? No. Jesus. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. You know sorry. what this shit means, brother. I don't, you know what? I'm sorry. Hey, as long as nobody's hurt, I can't have you no more. It's a liability, man. The camera guy, you could have killed him. I don't know who that to get it back to the car. We told him to get okay. out, dude. We told him to get out. All right, do me a favor. Go to the hospital and check yourself. Call me from the hospital, man. You and the camera sorry, guy, you dude. guys are gone. Just call me I'm from sorry. the hospital. And the camera guy, you know what, man, there's a hundred camera guys out there. I really don't care about the camera guy. But all the years that I trained this knucklehead, all the, all the stuff that I've done for Matt, everything that I've showed him, you know, all the opportunities that I've given him, he threw them away. Just like that. Bam. Are you okay? So what do you want me to do? Just, you know what, take him right now to the hospital. Take that camera guy oh. to the hospital. Call me from the freaking hospital. I'm sorry, hey, Matt. I'm sorry, Lou. Take I'm him sorry. to the hospital. Fro, take them both to the hospital. Make sure they're okay. But Matt, brother, you're done. That was it. He knew it. 
I mean, he knew it. That's it. He's fired. That man. There's no more chances after that. This is ridiculous. Let's go, dude. Just take me to the car. Let's take me back to my car. Well, I gotta take him to yeah, the hospital. Yeah, take him to the hospital. Take me back to my car. Matt knew he screwed up. Okay, he obviously acknowledged it. He knew there was nothing that he was gonna say or do that was gonna convince me otherwise. He's fired, man. I don't give a shit what anybody asks me or say whatever he's done. Lou fired Matt. And yes, he has fired Matt quite a few times in the past. But Matt has never really done anything like this. Slow the oh, down, bro. Shit. Slow down. No, you shut up. You asked this boy. You asked this. God. Oh, shit. No, no. Stop. Stop. Oh. Oh, damn. Matt. Not only did he damage property, he put someone's life in danger. You know, uh, I really don't think that Lou's going to be too happy about this. I can't tell you what's going to happen with him. I mean, that's that's not my decision. That's that's not something that is up to me. I mean, he's my friend, and if it was up to me, I mean, the only thing I can tell him is be careful. But it's up to Lou, whatever he wants to do. Are you crying? No. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, no. 